hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel with another useful and informative video which is about how to fix unable to verify app a connection to the app store is required for the first launch so guys if you are also facing this problem while downloading and installing the app in your device here i will show you how can you easily fix it so for that first of all go back to your home screen and here i will give you some possible solutions that will help you to fix this problem so the very first solution for this problem is that you will have to make it sure that there is no connected vpn in your device so for that open settings in your device and scroll it below tap on general again scroll it below tap on vpn and device management and from here check if there is any connected vpn in this device so i simply disconnect it and check if the problem is fixed or not and if you are still facing this problem then go for the next solution that is you will have to reset network settings in your device so for that open the general section again and from here tap on transfer or reset tap on reset again and from here tap on reset network settings and enter your passcode for your iPhone and reset network settings in your device. So guys, after this check if the problem is fixed or not. And if you are still facing this problem, then go for the next solution. That is, you will have to open the general section again. And from here, tap on software update. And from here, update your software to the latest version. So after this, go back and check if the problem is fixed or not and if you are still facing this problem then change your internet connection so as if you are using Wi-Fi then use your mobile data and if you are using mobile data then try your Wi-Fi and check if the problem has been fixed or not and if you are still facing this problem then go for the final solution that is you will have to force restart your iPhone so for that you will have to simply press and release the volume up button and then down and keep holding the power button until your device restarts so I simply restart your device and after this check if the problem is fixed or not so hopefully after all these solutions your problem will be fixed so that's it for today's video if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe to my youtube channel as well thank you